Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the final spin. We're right here at the Southwest Regional Finals, and we've got coverage of the American Qualifier and the Open Division coming up next. We had a great roping today with the open division and the qualifier for the American. Let's get to the short round of the American. We're going to start with the 11th callback position. It's Shane Sample and Ike Haynes. Now, this team was a 4264. They come out here, they rope the steer. They are 1180, putting them at 54 and 44. They are going to automatically secure themselves a qualification to the American semifinals. We'll go now to the ninth high back. It's Jake Brown and Jed Middleton. Now, this team right here with a 32 and 94. They've got to be 21 49 to go to the lead and they rope him right here. They are an 11 88 putting them right now 44 82 and that's now first. We'll go to the seventh high team back. Colby Sneeman, his partner, Josh Patton. Now this team right here is 28-46. A run of 16-35 would take them to the lead. Colby Sneeman riding a great sorrel head horse, gets up to him, catches him, moves him out, and JP sets this one down. They are 10-45, putting them at 38-91. They're now number one. The six high team back, it's going to be Jake Brown, and his partner is J.D. Logan. Now, they are 28-43, so a run of 10-47 would take them to the lead. They have a little bit of trouble. They're longer than they wanted to be. 11-33 is going to place them second. We'll look at the fifth high team back. Here's Shane Sproul. Partner is Jesse Haney. Now, this team's 28-39, so a run of 10-51 would put them to the lead. Shane Sproul hooks it on him in the rodeo half-head style, goes out to the left side, and Jesse Haney cuts him down. They're 863, putting them 37-02, and they're number one. The fourth high team back, it's the father-son team of J.D. and Trey Yates. Now, this team right here is a 26 26, a run of 1075 would take them to the lead. JD gets him caught and Trey two feet. They're 880. They are a total of 3506 and they are now number one, guaranteed no less than fourth in the average here. Well, let's go to the third high team back now. It's Seth Hall and Corey Bramwell. These guys are 25 and 96. A run of 909 would take them to the lead of the roping and Seth Hall gets him. Corey sets him down. 7-16 on a clean run. They are a 33-12, putting them number one. The second high team back, Tyler Riggin, his partner, Josh Patton. Now, they're looking for a qualification. They are 25 and 17. They need to be a 794 to go to the lead of the rope. And Tyler Riggin comes with it, gets it on him, and Josh Patton roping outstanding. 698 puts them 32 and 15, and they've got one team to sweat. It's the high team back. The high team back, this, ladies and gentlemen, is Chris Francis. Partners Cade passing. They are 1026 away from $3,250. Chris Francis stick to the head side. Cade passing to the back side. Oh, and we're rolling right here. Chris Francis. His part is good. Now Cade passing. Oh yeah. How about a seven? And 13 puts them in the average at 29.01. And ladies and gentlemen, the win of the American qualifier, Chris Francis and his partner Cade Passig, $3,250. Well, now let's go to the short round of the open division where we break it down, and we're going to start with the fifth high team back, Shane Sproul and Jesse Haney right here. This team is a 37.02. So as they get ready to rope right here, they get him caught. Shane on the head side, Jesse to the back side, they're 708. They are 44-10, putting them number one. The fourth high team back, it is the father-son team of JD and Trey Yates. Now these guys are a 3506, a run of 934 would take them to the lead. JD gets it on him and Trey, 626. Nicely done. They're 4132. They're number one and guaranteed no less than fourth. The third high team back is Seth Hall and Corey Bramwell. These guys are 33-12. A run right here of 819 will put them in the lead, and they get him caught. 724 puts their total at 40 and 36. 
second high back. It's Tyler Riggin, Josh Patton. These guys roping outstanding. They're 32 and 15. Tyler does a nice job of shaping this steer up. Josh Patton ropes him about two feet. They're 775. Puts them 3990, and they are first with one to go. And it's the team of the day. Here is Chris Francis and Cade Pasek. These guys, 2901. They've already got the victory from the American qualifier back high team one more time. They need to be a 1088 to win the roping. Chris takes a good start, gets him caught, and Cade comes around. They are 901, puts them at 3802. And ladies and gentlemen, they are going to take the top honors right here of the Open Division and of the American Qualifier. They also are repeat champions from last year. These guys on fire and enjoying the Southwest Regional Finals. I had a moment to visit with Chris and Cade. I'm standing here with a champion healer out of the American Qualifier, Cade Pasig. You had a great day today. It was pretty good. I drew some good steers and just went and caught them. And so you guys were high team back in the qualifier for the American. What was your strategy right there? Uh, I think we had to be 10. It was just go knock him down, go catch him clean. And then you guys end up winning it. What's it mean to get qualified to the American semifinals to you? I think it's an awesome deal, really. To go and get to rope for that much money against other good teams. I think it's a great deal. And so uh, you guys, uh, is that is that what brought you to this roping? For sure, and there's not a lot of good open ropings in New Mexico, really, and this is the best one, and chance to get to go rope for a million dollars is great. Hey, that's what it's all about. You guys are no stranger to this. You guys were the champions of the open division last year. What's it mean to come back and repeat this victory? I think it's pretty sweet, really. I mean, it's nice to win, but two years in a row is really cool, I think. That is pretty cool to be the champions in the state of New Mexico two years in a row. Cade, we wish you the best the American semifinals. Congratulations on your qualification. Thank you very much. Here's our champion header out of the American and the Open, Chris Francis. Chris, this roping right here, the Southwest Regional Finals, has been pretty good to you in the years past, huh? Yes, sir. It's been good. Uh, we won it last year, Cade and I, and I had two chances the two years before, like I was just telling you, and it didn't go so good. But I've always been right there. It's always been pretty good. And so you guys were, were high team back in the American qualifier. What, what was your plan? Tell me what happened right there. Uh, we just had to be, I think, 10 or 11. So we just went and caught. And we were, I think we were seven and just went and did what, our job, you know, and, and it worked out. And so you compete all over the country. You produce some ropings yourself. What does it mean to get qualified to this uh, semifinals of the American? Man, it's huge. Uh, we went to two or three of them last year and didn't get along very good. And uh, our goal was to come here and get qualified and not have to worry about it. But if we didn't, we had planned we'll go wherever we have to. It, it's huge. I think it's going to change the sport. If, I mean, it has already, but I think it's a huge deal and, and it's a huge accomplishment for us. And so what would it mean to you to ultimately get qualified to the American to back in there at AT&T Stadium for a million dollars? I think that'd be the ultimate, and I think that uh, it's a great deal. Um, if, they, if they continue to have it and it continues to go the way it is, I think it'll change the game. People won't have to be out there rodeoing, trying to make what they can make right there in one day. Um, I think it's a huge deal, but still you have the top ten in the world there, and, and everyone there, everyone can rope, so it, it'd be cool just to, to be in the same arena with those guys and have a chance. So tell me about this roping right here, the Southwest Regional Finals. What makes it so special? Um, it's just one of the better open ropings we have in our part of the world. And, and uh, I mean, they guarantee the money, and, and it's, it's just a good roping. Um, you guys do a good job with it. Well, thank you, Chris. Congratulations on your qualification. Good luck, and hopefully we'll see you there at AT&T Stadium. Thank you. Well, again, congratulations to our champions, Chris Francis, Cade Passig, roping a great roping today. Not only winning the American qualifier, but first place in the average of the open division. Outstanding feat for those guys right here. You know what? Stay tuned to the final spin. We've got complete coverage from the Southwest Regional Finals here in Clovis, New Mexico at the Curry County Event Center. Also, the Final Spin now has an Instagram account, so check it out at The Final Spin. Stay tuned right here. We've got the number 15.